Ladies, welcome back to Green Eclectics. I hope you're doing amazingly well. Jane here and today I want to talk about the boho interior design style. How can you decorate your home boho in 2021 and where can you find all the cool pieces to do just that? Well, fret not my friend because after this video you will know absolutely everything there is to know about this subject. So let's just get on with it, shall we? <laughs> should be true for any and every interior design style that your home should reflect who you are, your likes and your preferences and tell your story. However, I believe that boho is the most personal style of them all and it's really a style about storytelling. Who are you? What is your personality? Where have you been and where are you going? Boho is the style where you take all the interior design rules and you just toss them out the window. But as in any style, there are a few must-haves and we are going to have a look at those. So, what does boho really mean? Well, first, it's shorthand for the French word bohemian, referring to gypsies and termed after a particular group of people who traveled from Bohemia, a region in the Czech Republic. The word later evolved to include any artist, writer, actor or musician who was often poor and led a nomadic lifestyle, traveling quite a bit throughout major European cities. Today, Bohemian indicates an aesthetic that takes its influence from those free spirits of generations past. The modern boho chic look is eclectic and with an emphasis on ethnic and vintage pieces from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. There are so many ways that you can create your boho style home. However, today in 2021, I see two roads or two paths that you can follow to create a boho style a home that is relevant for today. And I want to show you both. Now, the first version of the boho style, let's just call it colorful boho. This is not a scientific or, you know, trade word for it, but it describes the style very well. So this is the boho style that is the most original style where we use lots and lots of colors and they are deep, rich, jewel tones like deep jade greens and turquoise, reds, orange, yellows, mustard, uh, fuchsia pinks, all these bold and strong colors. And we are not afraid to mix and match and use them all together. And the colors go on everything from our floors to our walls and even to our ceilings. In a really colorful bohemian style home, you won't hardly see any white items at all. Now, the second boho style that I see is the more neutral boho. Instead of those deep jewel tones, we now choose light colors, neutral colors like off-white, creams, vanillas, beige, all the way to the more browny cognac. When we use wood, the woods are often blonde and very light colored woods and we see a lot of rattan and wicker items as well all in its natural shape. Now the neutral boho style is a more modern take on the original boho but it can be oh so gorgeous if you do this right. I have created two mood boards for you guys, one in the colorful boho style and another in the neutral boho style. And I will give you both of them at the end of this video, but please do stay with me while I walk through all the elements needed for you to create your boho style home. And when you first walk into a boho room, you will find plants, green plants. There's no way of avoiding plants if you like the boho style. And the more tropical they are, the better. I still don't think I have seen one single boho style home without a monstera in it. <laughs> now, feel free to break that rule if you want to. But yeah, I kind of feel like it's 
an essential here. <laughs> and for your monstera or another plant, we need a planter as well. And in a boho home, we need a seagrass basket for that. This first basket I intended for the colorful boho style. As you can see, the mane of the basket is still natural, but you have like a ribbon of macrame with some colorful tassels as well. It's a really fun basket, but if you're not a big fan of those tassels, I have one more for the colorful boho, and it's this basket here. We still have some natural tones, but they are mixed with block of colors that are to the earthy, musty side in reds and mustards, yellows, colors that are very, very appropriate for the colorful boho style. For the neutral boho style, we still need a seagrass basket, and I want to show you two. This first one here is really cute with its rounded shape. It has a natural and a cream color to it with one single tassel but it's very neutral and then we have this other one from Madame Stoltz it's handmade again in seagrass and it's just the cutest thing ever <laughs> I really really like this basket. As you can see it's quite perfect as a planter but then again a seagrass basket you can pretty much use for anything you like. Now that we have our plants and our wicker basket in place we need to put something down on the floor as well and in the boho style uh, layering of rugs is essential. Instead of just having one big rug you can layer two or three or four or even more rugs. For our our colorful boho style I found two different rugs both of them are made of cotton and they are handmade in India this first one has a lovely hand woven feel to it and it has also this very deep uh, and rich jewel tones so has the other one which is a bit more rough in the texture as it is hand braided as opposed to hand woven but both rugs are absolutely adorable belonging to the colorful boho style yet a bit more to the neutral side is this rug it is such a playful rug it has a neutral base but it has these pops of colors and it's really fun and really vibrant from the same brand you can also buy these uh, footstools or poofs in the same material and colors and they are super adorable too now this rug is made from 100% natural jute and this style actually suits both the colorful boho style and the neutral boho style uh, as long as you use it as a layering now this kind of jute rugs tend to be more cost efficient than other handmade rugs as well so if you start your layering with putting the jute rug uh, on the bottom the first one coming down and then you can layer on top of it with more expensive and more colorful uh, rugs on top of it this is really a smart thing to do but also in our neutral boho style a jute rug is kind of a must because it provides us with this natural medium color as well as the texture. The boho style is very much about uh, layering of different textures as well. So this is a really rich supplement to the style. Now this little rug belongs to the neutral boho style because the main color is the off-white but then you have the earthy warm tones as well that is also very appropriate for the neutral boho style. Even even though they go a little bit darker and then of course if you like the shaggy rug it's a neutral colored rug that fits perfectly within our neutral boho style and you do have the soft long pile and you have the tassels and it's just a gorgeous piece the boho style is a very casual style and it's perfect for you and your family and friends to just hang out and relax and do board games and stuff. So this style also keeps the furniture low to the ground and a natural element in a boho style home is the footstool or the ottoman or the poof. And I do have quite a few to show you actually. The first one here is a knitted uh, cotton poof. It is a light top color and this one belongs to our neutral boho boho style. However, the same shop has this poof in lots of different colors as well. So for our colorful boho style, you can choose blue, yellow, red, pink, 
any of these and it will look gorgeous. And I'm sure that if you like the boho style, there's one item that you see again and again in boho interiors and it is the Moroccan leather poof. Can I please show you this pink one? Oh my gosh, if you have seen a few of my videos before, you know that I love pink, it's my favorite color, and this one is oh so gorgeous. But again, the shop has them in loads of different colors, so you can pick and choose and you're quite spoiled for choice really. However, for our neutral boho palette, I would suggest you go with a brown Moroccan poof. Even though it's a little bit to the darker side, it's still neutral and it's still a natural color, but this one will help you to ground your interior to create that dimension and depth in your room as well. And not to say that it's totally gorgeous too. <laughs> And this one is for you guys that have totally fallen in love with the macrame trend. Now, a macrame plant holder or plant hanger is also so appropriate to have in a boho home. However, this one is a poof. And besides being very useful in your room, it's quite an eye candy as well, isn't it? And I had to add a square one as well, a medium brown tone with some cream pattern. And this poof is a really beautiful item too. Okay, before we move on, let me just quickly say that if you like this video and if you like to see more coming, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button below and the little bell next to it if you haven't already. Your support really means the world to me. So thank you very much. All right, so we have our plants, our baskets, our rugs, and our poofs, and now we need some furniture as well. The style of furniture most suiting for the boho trend is any mid-century or retro kind of furniture. And if you can find a vintage piece in a thrift store or a second hand, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you are the creative type that likes to uh, DIY as well, if you find a vintage piece that doesn't look entirely uh, good, you can always re painted in a really popping color that's super duper cool for the colorful boho style any day of the week i would go for a green uh, deep rich color velvet sofa however for our neutral boho palette and for our furniture we talk medium to light toned wood we talk rattan caning bamboo and for our neutral boho style i found this chair and it also comes as a matching sofa but i absolutely love the chair it looks super comfy but really stunning as well if you have a really big living room and you need some extra seating i found this little uh, bistro set as well and it's such a gorgeous set also if you have a sheltered garden or a conservatory this would be absolutely perfect. Now for a colorful boho scheme I would still go with this darker colored rattan chair. You can order it with the cushion or without the cushion. The same goes for this bamboo chair as well which I personally think is a beaut. I would love to have a couple of these in a neutral boho home and in a boho space where we have a chair or a sofa we need a throw as well and in our colorful boho this quilt will be absolutely perfect it's colorful it's handmade it's beautiful and it has a little bit of warmth in it as well so for those cool evenings when you need something to the warmer side this is a really good choice equally colorful but to the lighter side is this throw it is also handmade and it's reversible so you can use it both sides and having this throw draped over your honey colored rattan chair would be oh so cute a perfect throw for our neutral boho palette is this blanket here it's made from natural fibers 100 percent cotton and i love the color i love the tassels and and I love the little pattern as well. It makes it just look so expensive and so luxurious. And cushions. Oh my gosh, in a boho home, you need lots and lots and lots of cushions. There is a foolproof formula for mixing and matching throw pillows like a pro, but when it comes to creating a boho chic space, 
all rules go out the window. Bright colors and lots of patterns such as florals and paisleys mixed with ethnic patterns like tribal prints and geometric patterns are a hallmark of boho style. And this is one for our colorful boho. It's a linen cushion with the print of a really really cute elephant and the colors and style are made for a boho home. And if you want to layer your cute little elephant cushion with something more textural we have this cushion as well it's a cotton cushion cover you have these gorgeous colors and you have these fun little tassels on the sides as well and these cushions you can actually use in both the colorful and the neutral boho palette home these are faux leather cushions and the cognac color is also oh perfect for both palettes they fit very well with the rich jewel tones but also when you use them as a backdrop to the more creamy light tones it's oh so sophisticated and it would look so so good to this cushion here a cream colored beauty with lots and lots of texture and I had to show you this cushion as well handmade of cotton but it's almost like a little piece of jewelry in your chair or your sofa and of course these are not a must but I see them again and again and again in boho homes and interior design schemes and this is dried pampas grass and it is quite beautiful actually and suiting for both our colorful and neutral boho style as well so I just wanted to throw them in there for good measure accessories in the boho style we need lots of them and if you have been lucky enough to be able to travel the world and bring back some treasures and trinkets and decor details to decorate your home that is perfect but if you haven't been able to travel that's fine too we can just shop for those trinkets close to where we live right I wanted to show you these decor pieces they are handmade macrame in cotton cord on a wood rod and they are super cute we also need a good serving tray not only to serve breakfast or serve food on but also just to keep on a poof or a table or a shelf even as decor if you put some small vases in there perhaps some uh, scented candles you know a little book uh, just for display this is really a gorgeous piece too now if you have seen any of my previous videos you have probably heard me talking about how every room needs a good mirror and here are a couple of options for you this one i intended for the colorful boho scheme and it is a beautiful moroccan hand painted mirror and it has all the right colors it's a really beautiful mirror and then for our neutral boho color schemed room i found this sunburst mirror in rattan and it's simply a wonderful piece lighting is also very important in a boho space make sure that you have lots of different sources of light from your ceiling lamp to floor lamps to table lamps to fairy lights to candles to lanterns all sorts of lights would fit into a boho room for our colorful boho scheme, I have this one. It is a handmade leather uh, lamp shade and it has the most gorgeous peacock pattern. And the coloring of this lamp shade is definitely exquisite. And if you are daring enough, how do you feel about this? Piece. This chandelier is an explosion of colors and it is so funky. Would you dare to put something as spectacular as this into your living room? <laughs> Please leave me a comment below and let me know. If you want to play it more safe, I found this macrame lamp shade as well. It can fit on a floor lamp or even a ceiling lamp and I really like this piece. Again, this is a handmade piece made of cotton cords and of course, depending on what kind of bulb you keep in your lamp, it gives such a cozy and warm light. Or how do you like this trio pendant light in rattan isn't this piece so elegant i love how the slightly different sizes and shapes play up against each other and it looks really really stylish as well and talking about stylish 
I believe for ceiling lamps, these are my favorites. They are made of rattan and I absolutely love the uneven sculptural organic shape of them. This design is really one step up, truly amazing. It comes in four different sizes. If you want to mix and match the different sizes in your room, if you have a big space. But these lamps, if you do have the space for them, if you like them, this is something special, so definitely go check them out. You will find all the items that I have shown you in this video uh, linked in the description box below. So you can go ahead and check them out afterwards. Now, which one of these two boho styles do you like the most? Uh, are you more drawn to the colorful boho style or the more neutral boho style? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video inspiring. Remember to subscribe to my channel before you go. Until next time, take care and God bless.